All I've ever wanted out of dinner was fish and potatoes, yeah. And you've made my dreams come true. Yeah, you've made... Food was great, especially the potatoes. Uh, today I want to talk about my appreciation for a man, sort of. My appreciation for Alex. But also, more broadly, my appreciation for programming. Programming is awesome. Um, being able to automate tasks is awesome. And I'm going to explain what happened today, what clicked in my head, which allowed me to share something with Alex and how he saved me days worth of work. So one of the big things that we do over on Steven Plays is memorable moments. If you aren't a regular viewer and you're not familiar with the concept, we take tiny moments that are voted on by you guys um, from any of the Steven Plays episodes and then we repost them, but instead of in the entire episode, we just do the tiny little moments. So whenever you guys are watching an episode, if something funny happens, people will say, oh, memorable moment, or they'll, they'll have a timestamp or whatever. So what I do is I go through the comments of every episode and I write those down. And generally I don't do them until it's been, uh, you know, maybe a few months since the LP ended and then I start bringing out the moments. The problem is there's a lot videos that I'm releasing and there's a lot of moments and I got a, a lot of other stuff to do too um, so it takes a lot of time to compile these lists so I was spending several hours today writing down moments for Skyrim old Skyrim episodes and it hit me you know there's got to be a better way to do this so I sent a message over to Alex I explained to him what I needed done and asked if he could make me a script that would pretty much go to the YouTube comments look for time codes, or any mention of memorable moments, grab them, and then put them in a nice, easy-to-read list for me. And he did it. And he did it quick. Um, Alex is a uh, really, really amazing programmer, and he knows what he's doing. And he was able to do that uh, very quick. And then I worked with him a little bit on finessing exactly how I could, you know, get it. And in, by the end, he had made me a script where I could put in a playlist URL for like an entire playlist of videos and it would give me a you know a text file that had every single video and then under that was like all of the comments that talked about timestamps so in other words instead of having to spend hours going through all these videos I can just type in this playlist URL and it brings up all of the the timestamps it saved me literally days, like days, if not weeks, worth of work um, that I would have to get to eventually. Now, I still have to make the moments, so I still have to, you know, like, check the timestamps and then decide which ones we want to keep and then make them, but actually searching through the comments takes forever, and he saved me a ton of time. So programming saves lives, or at least a lot of time. Anyway, um kind of a short and simple vlog, uh, more stuff coming this weekend, and um, hopefully getting severely caught up on vlogs this weekend, which is nice. Um, talk about, you know, maybe you are doing some level of programming yourself, and uh, you've been able to experience the joys and the, the helpfulness of it, um, or maybe you have a friend that has done something like that, or anything related to programming. I'm not going to let you veer too far off course today. I want to hear inspirational programming stories. I don't know. Talk about that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? There's hundreds of receipts that we have to go through to, to figure out if we can uh, count it as a deduction or not. There's a lot of stuff we can deduct, which is really sweet. Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Oh, will you? Well, what's going on here? Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins here. Friend of mine went crazy and stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. 